your boy Tez right back with another vlog, y'all. See where we at right now, man. We at the lab. If y'all paid attention to the last vlog, I told y'all that I am going to explain how my Camaro really, really broke down. So, y'all see the title, y'all see the thumbnail, man. We finna get straight to it. Like I said, we at Vat Lab now. We not here just to talk about that, y'all. We got to drop some money off for, you know, the rest of the parts. And I got to get this laptop. The tuning laptop, y'all can see we got the HP tuners sticker on there, y'all. I've been meaning to bring this up here along with my little, you know, HP tuners device. My father got this damn rubber band on my finger from the money. Let's see, I'm not playing, but we really got cash, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to tell y'all how much we spent on the ZL1 because you'll be really surprised at how much you really spent. But I told y'all it is a lot, so uh, I'll just stay tuned because it is gonna be worth it, like I said. Yeah, I'm finna go ahead and take this laptop inside. Then we're gonna get to the part, you know, where I can tell y'all what happened to the ZL1 because I know a lot of y'all wondering what really happened. And I know a lot of y'all wondering why am I really spending this much money because I really could have fixed my car, you know, and just really just kept it pushing. But with me being out for that long, I really just wanted to come back stronger. But if you watched the last vlog, you already know because I said all of that on the last vlog. So if you missed that last vlog, click the link in the description or the link at the top of the video just so y'all can go tap in on that last vlog. But I'm gonna take this laptop and take this money inside of here just to leave on the car and uh, we're gonna get back to y'all in a second. Let me put this money, I got the money just hanging out of my pocket see the easy slides man we always in some some adidas see the pink thing already y'all can see her most famous car man sadly the laptop the tuna laptop is actually dead but good thing i brought the charger whenever ed try to get me together he said he was gonna you know help me set my uh you know my laptop up that way you know i can do my own logs because i had to you know get them to unlock it so we're gonna sit this in here oh shit so we got a lot of room slap that right in there and i don't know it looked like they moved the block because last time we came here y'all the block was right there but it's not right there so i'm pretty sure they moved it i wanted to pay and get my receipt and everything like that so i just got that gonna sit it right here y'all i'm gonna get my address out but i'm gonna go over this y'all once we get done talking about what really happened you know that way i can just get an idea of the power i'm gonna make and what i'm doing and you know really just to go over everything because i never ever even told y'all how how you know how fast my car was when i just got it back you know a few months ago so i'm gonna just get all into that and i'm gonna go over some mods that i had that i never even told y'all because Y'all know from day one, I always told y'all all the mods, I always showed y'all everything. But when I brought my car back to Valab, y'all, to get more mods over the winter, I didn't really tell y'all because I started to take racing more serious, you know. A lot of more people wanted to race me. It was way more, you know, going on with the whole car scene, you know, the whole racing scene. So I never really got to the bottom, you know, of, you know, how fast my car is, you know, what it's making. So today, I'm gonna go over that, but I'm gonna tell y'all more about that after, you know, I tell y'all, how the ZL1 really broke. So yeah, I didn't want to point the finger at the last shop I was at because y'all yeah, was having problems back then that I never really told y'all about. And the whole situation was kind of messed up because strictly performance is where I had my car at before I came here after I sold my SS, y'all. And I don't want to say I regret going there, but if I would've came in from the jump, I probably would've never ran into the problems because when my car is at strictly, y'all, the car was fine until you know the end of last season my car kept misfiring you know i kept having to replace the spark plugs there was a whole bunch of weird stuff going on but before all of that happened y'all i did used to get knocking codes y'all okay i used to take the car you know to get it scanned and it say it was knocking i didn't just ignore y'all i actually showed the shop which is you know strictly but i showed them and they used to tell me that it was the knocking sensors y'all they used to always say the knocking sensors were sensitive or you know it was something with the knocking sensor so with them saying that, you know, with them being the shop that's actually taking care of my car, I didn't, you know, want to go against what they were saying. You know, I didn't feel like they would set me up or point me in the wrong direction. You know, with me coming to them, spending money with them, you know, I just feel like they wouldn't have led me wrong. So, like I said, that whole entire time my car was there, y'all, I was having issues. And I know y'all can go back to the old vlogs and y'all can see. I'll leave the link to the videos at the top of the screen or in the description just so y'all can see. But... I kept having problems, y'all, and I really didn't know what it was. A lot of people used to say it was my tune. I had a bad tune, but what's crazy is when I showed y'all my pistons, I'm not sure if they're in here. Uh, I'm not sure. Let me see. 
So long story short, when we was looking at my Pistons, I hope this music don't get copyrighted, but when we was looking at my Pistons, y'all, Ant was saying that he don't think, it looked like they moved it, yep, they moved everything. So I was gonna try out my, uh, my Pistons, but long story short, the way the Pistons looked, actually I do got a video so I can put it in this clip, but. Beat the shit, you know? Like, this has got more wear than that, but that's what's fucked up. That is crazy. The way the pistons look, y'all, it didn't look like it came from a bad tune because the bottom of them wasn't tore up. Like I said, you can see the video how they were. The way they were damaged was weird. Like, Ed said he sent it out to a lot of tuners, a lot of different shops, y'all. Nobody could figure out how that happened. So, like I said, I don't want to say it was strictly, I don't want to say it was the last shop, but my car was having issues with, you know, when I had it at Strictly, so it's just kind of weird, you know, and then after the whole, you know, Strictly situation, I brought it back here, my car was running fine, y'all, so I really don't, I really don't know what to say. I feel like Bad Lab saved my car, that's what I keep telling people, you know, because when my car came here, it was running better, it was running stronger, I didn't really have no issues, really until the oil pump started going out, so that's another thing that I also, you know, brought to mind, y'all, my oil pump was going out, and if y'all go back to them old vlogs, you know, when I just got my car back from the shop about three, four months ago, when it started going out, I noticed that, you know, like, obviously the oil pressure was low. I actually took the car to the track when it was, when the oil pump was going out, and y'all can see we did have some problems at the track, y'all, and I don't know if them two, three days of me, you know, beating on a car like that with the oil pump going bad could have did something. And that's the only other option, you know, I really can think of because like Ed said, and like, like y'all seen by the, you know, on the video, you really don't, you can't explain, like nobody can really explain how them two pistons got damaged like that, y'all. It was like the bottom of the skirts, like, just like, got like broke so I really, I really don't know how that happened, y'all. If there's anybody that really know deeper you know than, than what we know y'all leave a comment y'all try to let us know but i really don't know how that could have happened and, and i told ed i was really thinking it was from when my car was knocking but he said you know he wasn't sure so y'all yeah, really i really don't know regardless y'all y'all see we passed that we already getting a car fixed um and that's why the block is not in here i'm pretty sure it's sent out it wouldn't be in the same spot, especially, you know, since we already got the mods on the way. Now, really, the Z01 is going to be back stronger, man. We're coming back with stronger pistons, better pistons. I don't want to go over the exact mods now, but if you know about building cars, you know about Z01s or LT4s at all, you probably know what I'm doing if you know the mods I had in the past, y'all. So, yeah, if y'all know, I never had no hitters, y'all. I was catless. I only had... Y'all, this is new. I never told nobody, so this is new. I only had what an upper. I just got an upper. I had an upper or lower. I was on a 2.4, not even a 2.3. Um, still stock blower. wasn't ported. The blower not even getting ported now, y'all. But uh, what? I had an upper, lower. I was on E85. I was on meth. That's one thing I never really told nobody. But a few people caught me lacking at the track, and they knew I was on meth. So. A couple people did, you know, know my build, but, uh, yeah, for the mods I had, y'all, my car was really moving. Y'all can see I was keep, keeping up with 900 to 950 wheel cars. Y'all see CJ Mustang was really fast, y'all. This car is probably in the double digits now, and my car didn't really do that bad. So for the power my car was making, y'all, these last few months, um, my car really was running good, you know, and it was doing good for what it you know, for what it was making. So now it's really just to see how the car gonna be running when we get it back. And I am shocked, y'all, because we going from 700 wheel, y'all, to a huge skip. So it's like, I didn't even really get used to that 700 wheel. Now skipping from that to probably the double digits, y'all, this gonna be crazy, y'all. I really, really, really don't know what to expect, man. But now it's really just the waiting game. I know everybody waiting, I know all y'all ready. So, uh, yeah, just stay tuned for when we pick her up, y'all. See, I told y'all we just paid, man. And it's like I said, I was going to show y'all. I was going to give y'all a little estimate of how much we paid. Y'all see, we paid 8000 the last time we came cash. That's when I had it in the blue bag. We just came back today, and I just spent three. So, y'all see, it's 11 
This how much I owe y'all. So <laughs> y'all just add it up. Y'all can see it really is expensive, but uh, for what I got, y'all, it's, it's worth it, y'all. Um, I was gonna have to do these mods regardless. Some of y'all probably wondering why is you just dumping this much money in the car, but again, it's like, if I wanna do it, if I got the money, if I wanna work, just grind for this and spend all my money on it, y'all, that's what I'm gonna do, bro. At the end of the day, I told y'all I'm going to keep this car. I'm never getting rid of this car. So we got to go ahead and do something new. I told y'all we got a new wrap coming. And uh, we definitely had this pink for way too long. So stay tuned for that too. I don't want to talk y'all ears off. I feel like we've been talking too much. I told y'all on the next vlog I was going to let y'all know how the ZL1 really broke. So there y'all have it, bro. I don't really have an exact answer. But that's what happened, y'all. We got two damaged pistons like I showed y'all. So um, now it's just the ZL1 going to be back. And uh... Now y'all see we just gotta spend some more money to come pick her up. So just stay tuned for when we pick her up. And I might drop some new vlogs, y'all see. I've been kind of MIA, y'all. Really just been grinding, selling cars, y'all. Um, really just been trying to keep up with my normal life until I get the car back. But when I get the Z01 back, y'all, we coming 100% content, y'all. No breaks. Not a day going by, two days going by without content, y'all. We're dropping every day. If not every two, three days, but just stay tuned for that, man. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment. I'm gonna see y'all on the next one. I'm out, gang. Okay.